Greetings, Microscopists. This is Eric Miller, and The Doomsday Machine is a super terrible movie that is famous for running out of money during production in 1967 and eventually being released in 1972, and it's also famous for being super awful. So I'm not going to give much of a synopsis about this movie. It's free to watch on YouTube, and if you're looking for a cure for insomnia, this movie might help. What we are here to look at are electron microscopes, which is what this movie features. So on this spaceship that's headed to Venus or somewhere, I don't care, they have not only gravity, but a transmission electron microscope. So while filming in 1967, we can tell that this is already a very old TEM. This column is rather skinny, meaning the electromagnetic lenses are fairly small when compared to other TEMs from the 1960s. And this fishbowl area is very strange. I can't identify this microscope, but it looks to me like maybe 1940s era? I mean, I could be wrong, but if any of you out there can help identify the make and the model of this thing, please let us all know in the comments. So what do they do with this microscope during the movie? Not much. <laughs> Mainly, it's just a piece of set dressing. We can see this thing here that looks like a support pillar, but it's most likely the box where all the vacuum tubes and other electronic bits that allow the instrument to function are kept. But in the front of the instrument, it does seem noticeably devoid of knobs or buttons or, or anything. It, the whole thing looks like it's been kind of stripped down for parts already. We do have a shot of this lady looking into this thing here. Now, as I mentioned, I'm not familiar with this specific instrument, but I'm pretty sure this is not where you're supposed to look. Normally, you would look through the window of the fishbowl at the bottom of the column, uh, which we saw a good example of in that movie, The Awakening. But I ha also have to say that this fishbowl is super weird. Instead of having one large window, it appears to have several smaller windows here, presumably so multiple people could look into it at the same time. Anyway, not much happens with this thing. There's not much to say, except that an instrument like this would never go into space. Why? Because they are super heavy. It's packed solid with steel and copper and lead. And if you needed a boat anchor, this might be a better place to start than something that you would want to include on your trip to Venus. The only electron microscope that I'm aware of that ever went into space was the Mochi, this tiny little tabletop scanning electron microscope, which by all accounts that I've seen and heard uh, is not very good. But that is another topic for another day. What do I think of this TEM and Doomsday Machine? It's okay. It doesn't really do anything, so there's not much that it can get wrong. Anyway, this has been Eric Miller with Instructinate. Check out Instructinate.com for all the latest news in the world of electron microscopy. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you around the lab.